Kalesma Luxury Hotel is a quite inspirative project for a lot of architects. But on the other hand, creating those round edges in Revit seems to be a very tricky. So you probably think that you need to be an advanced Revit user to be able to do that. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you a very quick, simple and efficient way how you can make this. So even if you're a beginner, just watch this tutorial from beginning to the end and you will be able to create this. So the first thing which I'm going to make will be to create the walls and in this case I'm going to create a wall which is a 400 millimeter stick so we can better see our uh, radiuses and then I'm going to pick here exterior and uh, for a face and to make it by the second level so let's just make it like this okay I can select all of them and then just hit the space bar at the, at the keyboard so all our exterior lines are out and let's just make this let's say six by six meters opa and what i can also do will be i will just select the wall we'll use a create similar and i can just make the radiuses of one meter and go to 3d so here we don't need those annotation categories. Let's just better see what's going on. So the first thing to make this, I think for all of you will be to go to the component model in place and then take, let's say generic or walls and create a sweep using model in place, but it's not a good way. So what you have to do instead is to go to file and create a new family. And in this case, I'm going to use this, uh, metric profile and bearing in mind that our uh, thickness of the wall is 400 i am just going to make the quarter of a circle profile which is 400 by 400 and i'm going to save it uh, but one thing before i save it is just uh, i need to go here to the family category and parameters and here instead of generic i'm going to pick a wall sweep and now you can save it then you can load it into the family and there are two ways to edit so the first one is to go here to the wall sweep i will just make a duplicate of this type for the sweep and for a profile we'll pick the one i just draw and i can just click like this for example and then what i can also do is I can set the offset for minus 400, so something like this, or I can delete it. And this is a better way, select the wall, go to edit type, uh, go to the structure edit, and then here in a preview, just pick the section, then you will have this sweep uh, option available, and then just add a sweep. So for a profile, just take this, uh, and then uh, take, uh, top for a base, click apply to see, and we can make the offset minus 400 because we know it's a 400. So you see how it looked like, and we have a problem with those edges here. And I can, if I, if I do like this, and if I extend this to 600, you see, okay, we need to disable the join or I can just simply delete them and I will just create one. Just pick this ar arch and then something like this. So you see this seems fine and I'm just going to to mirror this. So when you are done with this you can simply just go to the second level, take a floor and create a floor which is let's say 400 millimeters go here for the edit 400 and then just pick those interior sides so you see how it look like and because this is going to the top of the wall if i select all our walls and put minus 400 because that's the height of the profile everything seems fine and everything is okay and um, there is one more thing 
And if you take a closer look at this picture, you will see that we have a kind of the sloped walls here. So if I select all the walls and here for the cross section instead of vertical, pick slanted and let's say minus two degrees. Okay, those two need to be just in a positive. You see that we we got uh, this with a with a slope, and then we just simply need to a little bit adjust our slab, which is not a big uh, big deal. So we just go here to the edit boundary. I can just select everything, and then I can just start picking our our edges of the uh, of the strip. So. This seems fine. And let me just copy this. And uh, I would like to show you one more way, which is uh, maybe even simpler than this one. And I'm just going to select all the walls here and I'm going to bring them back to the vertical. So this really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to select them again and to create a new type. So in this case, 400 without a sweep. And I will just delete the sweep. So we have no sweep. And let me just edit our uh, our slab. So you see how this look like in 3D. And this uh, method is also very good. So you can pick any of those two, which one uh, you prefer more actually. So now I'm going back to the family. And I'm going to change nothing instead of one thing. So here for a category, I'm going to pick instead of a wall sweep, slab edge. I'm going to click OK and to save as the family. And this one is going to be named as a slab edge 01. Load it back into the project. And then in 3D view, let's say, go here to the floor, floor slab edge, duplicate type for the slab edge. And for the profile, just pick this one we made and then just start picking the side actually where you would like to place it on a, our slab. And yeah, <laughs> any of those two ways you prefer, uh, you can do. So both are both are recommended. And if you take a closer look on a part where we have a sloped walls, at the bottom we have a kind of the radius so our walls are nicely touching the ground and those walls have a slope of two degrees. So if I just go here and I will delete this one and I will just draw this, the arc to go this way and to make it as a wall sweep again. And I'm going to save as. So this is going to be sweep 02 will load it into the project and then I can select those walls and into the edit type I'm going to again add one more sweep so in this case this O2 and it's going to be placed at the bottom and let me just create a section here so we can spot one thing so what we can see is that we have kind of the gap here and in order to fix it you can simply do the next thing so you can select this line uh, have the copy on and then just select this for two degrees i mean you don't need to have a copy but it will just affect uh, with this line you can delete those two so anyway and then go here sorry uh, go here to the line and pick the arch and just create it like this. Save it and load it back into the project. All right. And if I go to the section now, you see how it nicely touches the ground and how it's nicely finishing. So our 3D view looks uh, very nice. And um, in order to get rid of those lines, let's say if I move here to the realistic, you can use a line work tool. So LW is a shortcut. Uh, for the line styles, pick invisible and then just start clicking on the lines you don't want to have in your 3D view.
As you saw this was a very simple process of how to create this. If you would like to know more how to create uh, very nice opening trims and nice cutting details, just take a look at this video. And within a couple of minutes, you are also going to figure out this and to level up your Revit knowledge.